Ok. Hola, mi amo es uh, Johan, uh, and I'm co-writer, co-director of Turbo Kid. Hi, my name is Anouk, and I'm co-writer, co-director of Turbo Kid. Hola, mi amo es François, and I'm also co-writer and co-director of Turbo Kid. And you are watching Sci-Fi World! <laughs> Sci-Fi World! But first, uh, where the idea of Turbo Kid came from? Oh, um, we always wanted to uh, do, uh, we used to do fake trailers as uh, short, and we always wanted to do a, a post-apocalyptic fake trailer. So we did TS for Turbo, and from that short film, we developed the story of Turbo Kid. The, 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 both are a little bit different, uh, meaning that the short film is mostly a big battle scene, while Turbo Kid is more of a love story, actually. A post-apocalyptic, gory, BMX ridden love story. Yeah. So um, that was really our concept, like <clears throat> Mad Max with BMX at the at the beginning. So yeah, so that's where it comes it's, from. It's really an homage uh, to our childhood. I think there's a lot of reference, uh, like all the movie we love when we were kid. Uh, we're talking, uh, of course, Mad Max and all the uh, Italian ripoff like uh, the New Barbarians and Bronx Warrior, which we really love. Uh, BMX well, Bandit. BMX Bandit, Goonies, The Never Ending Story, uh, and of course, uh, Evil Dead, Brain Dead. It's it's all in there. Mm -hmm. So the, the song at the beginning is from a BMX movie, I think. Rad. It's yeah, a, uh, from yeah Rad. it's a yeah. song from Rad. It, was it really difficult to get the, the rights? Um, actually, a it, little bit. It, a little bit. <laughs> yes, it, it was a little bit. Um, but uh, we, we ended up with the song, and we're very, very happy because it's an awesome kicking song. Yeah. But, uh, John Parham is the, the, the singer. Yeah, but we didn't have the budget to have that song. So, but we had the song, uh, the cover by Stan Bush. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, Stan Bush. Yeah, he, it's basically the version for the Transformer movie. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Which is. Yeah. Also, yeah, yeah very, it's very very missing all, all, all the 80s movies. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and the Transformer movie is pretty fantastic, people. Yeah, the, 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 the animation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the animation movie. The animation. <laughs> yeah, and um, how? Yeah, the animation movie. Yeah, <laughs> yes, the animation movie. Let's let's find it out. And <laughs> how did you work? Uh, you are three directors. How did you? Uh, why yeah. we're uh, yeah. still friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all write together. So at the very big beginning of the development, we, we sit together, we have our own ideas that we, we pitch mm. while we write, and uh, we have to convince the others that it's the best idea, it should go on the script. We never go into voting, so we really uh, really have to debate every, every ideas we get. So by the time we're on set, we know the story so much and why everything is in there that we all, we, we're all going in the, are in the same direction. So on set, it's really we, we can split a bit. Uh, Johan will be more with the actors. Uh, François will be more with the storyboard and behind the monitor. And I will be more with the technical team and also overseeing that everything is uh, matches our vision. So yeah, okay. that's okay. how we. Uh, and before that, uh, we made like more than 20, 20 short films. Uh, like we work like that yeah. for ten years, uh, and I think that's why. Yeah, that's why we, we we work well together. I think it's it's we have developed over the years some kind of weird hive mind where we share a brain, and we are able to communicate just by looking at each other. So yeah, and yeah. we the, our first movies was like uh, making movies uh, with with a bunch of friends, and we want to keep that spirit. So that's why we never uh, no yeah. we 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 kept we kept the. The winning formula because it, it works for us. But it's very unusual. It's not for everyone, but for us, I think we're family. So that's why we're. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're fam a real family. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. Um, Bro brother and sister, and they've been a couple for the last oh, sixteen okay. years. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about how about a, a sequel? Because mm. okay. well, we are not gonna <laughs> tell what what happens at the end, but yeah, no, it's it's. Uh, we believe there's a lot of stories still to be told in that world and we'd love to do a sequel. Uh, it's important to support independent films. If you want to see sequel, if you want to see special films, it's important to buy the DVD, buy the Blu-ray, buy the VOD, because um, it, it, it makes sure, it tells producers that are there to make money 
that yes there is money in that type of film so if you want to see more of one type of film you have to support the film you love and um, if, if everything goes well with Turbo Cat and it's going well so far uh, we would really, really love to do a Turbo Kit 2. We're already uh, brainstorming and writing ideas and uh, writing a treatment for a potential Turbo Kit. There's a ton of stories to be told in that universe. Yeah, uh, I know all the cast and crew would love to uh, uh, work uh, on the sequel. Uh, we had so much fun uh, doing that feature. And yeah, um, we're already brainstorming, like you said. And, uh, would love to, yeah. yeah. And we cut so much thing. We had to make a lot of sacrifices. So we have plenty of idea uh, yeah. <laughs> for the sequel. But it, it was an expensive movie. It, it seems maybe more expensive than it was for. The thing Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. There's, there's a lot of passion, love involved in that movie from all the cast, the crew. Uh, so uh, everybody gave like the hundred yeah. percent on this. So uh, yeah. 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 yeah, it shows. Was a hard, a hard shooting. Mm. A hard, a hard shoot, a hard shooting. It, it yes. was really hard. Uh, like we said, we didn't have a big budget for the kind of movie we wanted to do. So every day we learned to uh, make, make sacrifices. Choice. So uh, we cut at least half of the gore we wanted to do, and we were hoping that there was still enough gore. But uh, Th there's I more than so. plenty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> People seem very happy with, yeah, with yeah. it. But yeah, it was uh, very hard as, also because of the weather. Uh, we shot the movie in April in Montreal and it was uh, the, supposed the, to be spring and it was winter. So. <laughs> yeah, the first day of shoot, we had uh, a feet of snow falling. So it was very complicated. We had to move scenes around. Uh, it was very cold. The whole shoot was very, very cold and um, a lot of equipment would break and uh, because of the cold, we, we yeah, got minus 20. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the fake blood would freeze. Oh. And the palms, <laughs> and yeah. The, the, the weather mm. brought a lot of challenges, but um, I mean, working on, on, on lower budget films, I believe, makes you clever and makes you find solution and um, make, makes you think. And the fact that we're three people uh, as well make make that if we hit a problem there's three brains to find a solution and we are so alike that we and we come to a consensus always really really rapidly because we we know exactly we know our story so much that we know what needs to be done but uh, yeah I, I think the, the biggest challenge on Turbo Kid was was definitely the the weather <laughs> it, 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 we, we weren't lucky but on that uh, Nobody complained. Uh, no. Like uh, the casting crew was really uh, passionate, passionate uh, about the project. Mm -hmm. uh, in Quebec, it's very unusual to do that kind of movie. Mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> it, I think it was special, and everybody was uh, on board, uh, 110 percent. So. Yes. Yeah, and in all this mayhem and madness, uh, you were able to tell a lot of story that it, it, it is great in the movie. And oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. I think it's. It, it was interesting for us because um, we've done a lot of shorts, but we've never written a love story. But it's something as well we always wanted to explore and try. So uh, for a first feature, uh, we decided to jump in. It, it, it could have been a big risk, but uh, we're very happy because everybody seems to connect very, very well with the, both characters and fall in love with them. And to us, it was really important that because you can have all the craziness, you have, can have all the, the, the madness, but if you don't care for the main characters, you're going to tune out after a while. You won't care for the story, you won't care for the film. So for us, it was really a way for people to get involved with the story. And as well, we, we love both of those characters ourselves. We've fallen in love ourselves with both characters and we definitely would want to revisit them. Again, yeah, and um, Monroe Chambers and yeah. Laurence Leboeuf did an amazing yeah. job. Yeah. Like they, they were so good. So yeah, the first time we saw them uh, in the monitor, and we saw that the, the chemistry, the chemistry worked. We were like, oh, I almost sorry. cried. Yeah. I almost cried. It was so yeah. beautiful. W were there any uh, improvisation between the actors, or it, it was all in the script? Uh, yes, uh, most I 
think of what we see on screen was in the script, but still we have a lot of uh, improvisation from uh, from the actors and from Monroe and uh, mm -hmm. and Laurence. Uh, they've been like they they became the characters, so they they were they would keep playing together and everything, and it, it was. Um, we wouldn't call cut. No, yeah, because... <laughs> we would just let them yeah. continue being characters. They were so good. And yeah. we used we a, just lot, yeah. a lot wanted of to see what yeah. would happen if yeah. Yeah. we didn't say cut. And at, at one point they were like, um, what is... <laughs> uh, are we uh, done? We said, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. now. <laughs> but yeah, we use a lot of these also. Like, yeah. yeah. The thing where, where she teaches him to fight, well, yeah. it's, it's great. Oh, thank, thank you. you, thank you. That's a that's a funny story because uh, we didn't have the time to shoot the way we wanted to do it. It's like basically just one, one take, shot. one yeah. shot, yeah. and we had the storyboard with plenty of <laughs> shot, and we were really pissed because we only had like 25 minutes to do the scene, and we're like, all right, we don't have a choice, we'll do it just in one take and because uh, of the actor uh, they were so good they were able to do it like that and yeah. at the end i think it's one of my favorite scenes yeah, yeah, in the movie <laughs> and it's a great lesson that we learn yeah. 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 yeah and uh, as well i think comedy works when it's works well when it's in one shot yeah like it always it, it, it's funnier when yeah. it's in one shot and um <laughs> Yeah, we had time for two takes. Both were perfect. We had to choose one, and uh, no, that was great. Yeah, and, the and actors are great. <laughs> the, the actors were. were and did you really have great. any spe specific references to the, these characters, to to the main protagonist uh, from other movies? Um, I, I think there's a little bit the way the story is told. There's a little bit of Goonies and a little bit of Never Ending Stories and all the kids' movies of the '80s. The way they used to tell stories, we, we were very, very influenced by it. Uh, for Apple, yes, I believe you're right. Uh, <laughs> you're okay on sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, good. Uh, yeah, there, all the kids, kid movie of the '80s. Yeah, BMX Bandits. BMX Bandit. Uh, uh, the way they used to tell stories mm -hmm. were a huge influence on Turbo Kid. But uh, for the kid, for Apple itself, there's still definitely a little bit of uh, Cherry 2000 in it. There's a... Uh, well, Melanie Griffith movie. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would say Gem and the Hologram. Yeah. Yes. Mega Man. My yeah. Little yeah. Pony. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? My Little Pony. Ah, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but, yeah. Well, somebody t told us that you, it was a mix of uh, Fist of the North Star and My Little Pony, yeah. I think. Yeah, that's yeah, a good that's way <laughs> to put it. I like that. I never, I didn't, I never heard that, but I love it. Yeah. yeah. And you know, our gore is never there to shock. We want to entertain people. I, we always say it's Bugs Bunny for adults. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's. We want people to be entertained. We want people. We want people to finish watching Turbo Kid and have a huge smile on their face. Yeah. And have a great day. Afterward, you should wake up, watch Turbo Kid, and have a great day afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Let's finish. Cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Gracias. much.